Hi, welcome back. Today we're going to evaluate 32 squared multiplied by 5 to the power of 9. This is a relatively simple problem, but it does involve the use of a few of our power rules. If you want to give this one a go yourself first, pause the video now. OK, this is how you do it. 32 can be rewritten as 2 to the power of 5. Therefore, we have this all squared multiplied by 5 to the power of 9 still. Now, the first rule that I'm going to use states that if we have a number raised to a power and that's all raised to another power, then we can rewrite this as that number to the powers multiplied together. This therefore becomes 2 to the power of 5 multiplied by 2. We still have 5 to the 9. So this is simply 2 to the power of 10 multiplied by 5 to the power of 9. Right, where do we go from here? Well, there's another rule that says if we have a number raised to a power and that's multiplied by the same number raised to a different power, then we can rewrite this as that same number raised to those two powers added together. Now I'm going to use this rule in reverse by saying that 10 is two numbers added together. And I'm going to say those two numbers are 1 and 9. So we can rewrite this as 2 to the power of 1 multiplied by 2 to the power of 9. And of course we still have 5 to the power of 9. Now the reason I decided to split the power of 10 into 1 and 9 is because I have a power of 9 here. And where we have powers that are the same, we can use this rule. And this says that a number raised to a power, multiplied by a different number, raised to the same power, can be rewritten as those two numbers multiplied together, all raised to that same power. This therefore becomes 2 to the power of 1, which I'm just going to write as 2, multiplied by 2 times 5, all to the power of 9, which equals 2 times 10 to the power of 9, or 2 billion. And that is the answer. Did you get it? If you know your power rules, you would have found this easy. But if you're still learning your power rules, this would have been a great practice question for you. OK, that's it for this video. Hope you found that useful. Don't forget to check out some of my other videos here. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.